Mm-hmm. Now, uh, uh, DJ uh-huh. Ben Hameen yeah. is one of your biggest, biggest fans. True. Yeah, whatever. definitely. We met back in the day before, but whatever. Um, What happened? Like, we Tell us about like, that, Ben Hameen. Yeah, is Tell that us what? about when y'all met. You think he remembered when you were fucking screaming at him, hey, big boy, I'm your biggest fan. Man, y'all crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, anyway, though, I wanted to know, um, like with songs like West Savannah and stuff, yeah. why was it that it was like just you on it? Why did it end up like, was um, that just how it just ended up? Yeah, because on it was actually West Savannah. It's from like, the, I know it was like recorded like from it, early. From earlier, yeah. you know, and we, we had our... Um, Dre's, we, we did solo with solo records. Dre's song was uh, called "By Your Heads," mm. and okay. and mine was West Savannah. Yeah. And so sometimes like the songs made it on the albums after the fact. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I think the "By Your Heads" verse is on uh, Idlewild on one of the songs oh, on Idlewild. Sure. Definitely. All right. Timeless. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Now you've had some classic uh, collabos, man. Yeah. The Slick Rick collabos. Man. Loved it. How did those come about, man? Um, Cause it looked like y'all was having so much fun. We were, man. Um, right. I was at uh, Patchwork Studios in Atlanta, and um, this was after Slick Rick did the. Uh, uh, what you mean for his album or for our album? For your album for and then for album. his album. Yeah, for our. Album. He did. Uh, we wanted to, you know, do an artist storytelling. You know, the storyteller Slick mm-hmm. Rick. So we were like, let's get Slick Rick on it, and um, he got on it and banged it out. Was there for the video, and while we was at the video, we kind of hung out, and then he came with his record, and he was like, I want. I want you to get on my record. I'm so, like, so y'all recorded it ar- around the same time? Um, we did his right after, after. He did our record not too long after that. He was mm. working on his album, and I just repaid the favor back to him. Dope dope records, man. Yeah, yeah, dope, dope man. Records. Slick, hey, slick no, cool as hell, man. Another one, man, the, the, the joint y'all did with Raekwon back in the day. Man. Oh, yeah, yeah, man, Skewed on the Barbie. Like, I, wasn't expe- I wasn't expecting that. Skewed man. on the Barbie, man. That was, we did that at the dungeon, too. Mm. Um, um was in the booth with Raekwon, spilling Hennessy all over me. Mm. Like, <laughs> Ray, Ray was like, I want to feed he's off. He's like, a little sloppy. He's he like, I want to feed off your energy. Come in the booth with me while I rap. Hey, I ain't never. Hey, hey, you ain't no pause. Like, hey. Oh, no, nah, <laughs> yeah, 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 man. Nah. Nah. What was Raekwon telling you? <laughs> what? <laughs> he said, come in the nah, booth, come nah, in the booth. we just talking, talking, talking. Like, you know, let's, let's you know, come in here, let's, let's rock. You know what I'm saying? Passing the Hennessy cup back and forth. You know, when he say sip this Henny, he was dead serious. We just passing the cup back and forth, man. And it was cool. Right to this day, that's my dog. You know? could, could he could he hold his liquor? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was probably all over his white tees. But big boy, UGK. Yeah. Speak about that inspiration and, and the relationship that y'all had with them. Uh, well, UGK, that's a, a special one, too, because um, we grew up on UGK. You know what I'm saying? We used to skip school um, with our homeboy still in Lamar. He used to steal cars. And, you know, we used to listen. That's all he had. And take that was UGK and... Um, Eight ball MJG, but mm. that was just some of the s- stuff we had growing up. You know, in the South, like that's who we had to look up to, like Scarface, Ghetto Boys, UGK, Two Live Crew, Sam Sam the Hitman, DJ like, Jimmy, Kilo, Kilo Ali. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> who? DJ Jimmy. Who's who Jimmy? Who's DJ Jimmy? <laughs> you got to be from the South. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. You got to. I mean, you got to. You know, you got to know about Magic City. You got to okay. know about Al Capone. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Club okay. Nicky's. Okay. Yeah. You know. Sure. You know. We, we Freak were, Nick. We were down in the ATL uh, last month. We did a A three C. Right. And we had the um, honor of interviewing Killer Mike. Right. Um, and Killer Mike is such a big personality, man. Yeah. Tell us. How, tell us about the first time you met Killer Mike. Man. Um, I met him actually. Through my little brother, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Um, um, my little brother was going to, to college at the AUC, and uh, him and my buddy Nasilo from the Beat Bullies, um, they all was kind of hanging together, and they was bringing them around. You know what I'm saying? And they, he had a tape, like a little tape. I would have listened to my homeboy. He rapped, whatever. Whoop, whoop. I'm like cool. So I was just working on the song one night, and I was like, come on, come on, jump in the booth. Like, but doesn't on. that get tired though, man? Because I'm sure, like, as your star rose, people mm-hmm. was always bringing people around. Yeah, yeah, that, but like you say, he a big personality, yeah. though, so you know what I'm saying, like, Killer Mike is special, you know what I'm saying, he's, mm-hmm. he's definitely very in- highly intelligent and um, a serious lyricist as well, you know what I mean, so um, we, we hit it off, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying, and, and, and got it in, and, and then we just started doing records. Now, what strikes me about him is, is that brother seems so driven, like so, so driven that if anything gets in his way or if he perceives that anything is in his way, mm-hmm. it's going to clash. Is, is is that kind of what went into clash back in the day, man? Um, it's, See, the thing with back in the day, it wasn't even so much as me and him. Right. It was him and somebody else in the crew. You know what mm. I'm saying? And it was, it was between basically them two. You know what I'm saying? And I kind of got in the middle. I guess I was supposed to play referee or whatever, but I wasn't really. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm... 
I'm like, go for it, whatever. Right. But you know. But you're the boss, so. Yeah, I didn't. You know, I ain't. I ain't no referee though. You right. Feel me? So right. Right. Like, right. Um, things got out of hand, but like now, I mean, nothing really serious. Ain't nobody. You know what I'm saying? Ain't ain't nobody touched me. Ain't nobody really did nothing to him like right. that. You know, my uncle, them, some of my family members might have got upset, whatever. But now it's all family. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, came back around. It's men. Um. We realized we were both bigger than whatever the situation was, and it wasn't even really us. You right. know what I'm saying? And so, you know, it, it works. He's well, back. It, it felt good when y'all patched shit up, man. Yeah, man, that's it, what, it, that's it what it real felt, niggas do. Really you know what I'm saying? Great, it, it, ain't, it ain't even that serious. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Ain't nobody slapped nobody mama or nothing. You know I mean? <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. I, now, out of your entire discography, man, what what's, what are some of your favorite records, man? Your uh, personal favorite records that you've recorded? Mm. This is like telling us which, who your favorite children are. Yeah, it's kind of, but I mean, mm-hmm. it depends on the day, though. Like, Tell I mean, us. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Return of the Gangster, that's one mm. Return of the G. Mm. That's one of my favorites. Um Over the Woods. Um that was from ATLs. Mm. Um Deep from the first album. Um Crumbling Nerve, of course. Growing Old. Mm. Um Gasoline Dreams. Like Stank Only is like I I really the recording of Stank Only was real a real real special time for me cuz like even with both of us cuz we just like, we finna wild out of it. That's when they was talking about the whole Y2K and the mm-hmm. world was going in. Right, 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 right. We was right. like, we finna do it Pre- all. Pre-millennium. I'm talking about, boy. You really believe that shit was gonna happen? Just or? get as high as you want to be. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And so. Um, is, is that why y'all, in a sense, got so much more free with your creativity and your styles? Um, Not not just particularly for that. It was like, the world gonna end. We finna just do it. You know what I'm saying? Right. We gonna just do whatever. And recording that record. It was just like, it was a lot of fun, man. It was a lot of fun. Mm. And, it, lot. and it shows. Yeah. And it shows. Let's go to a break, man. You're tuned into the Combat Jack Show. We're sitting here with Big Boy. Yeah. Cheer. Internet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. F your radio. F, F your radio. radio. F your radio. F your radio.